Greetings and welcome back to CK3. We are here today to continue our adventure in Scandinavia and uh, hopefully also to expand further our territories because uh, our new king, the fourth in chronological order since the beginning of this adventure, has already reached the age of 30. I don't know if I have to try to adopt feudal ways with uh, the current ruler or with the next one. And I'm a little bit puzzled because, I don't know, I, I think that if we wait for the next one, we might have a difficult succession with the increasing number of vassals. It might be very, very possible that we will have a faction in the next uh, succession. But of course, if we manage first to move to feudal, that's a different situation because then, I mean, it could still happen, but at least we will have a contractual type of relationship and not based on, the, let's say, the prestige of the ruler. But let's think about this maybe later. And um, for the moment, maybe we can just focus on expanding our territories. Probably we should first focus on raiding. So what we could do... Let's start first to make them weak with some raiders. Ah, here it was everything raided. Seriously? So let's take a look. This is a good candidate. Let's go raiding here. Raise all the raiders and then we can start from here, I think. Yes. Deviant. If I will torture her, tu, 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 tu. no. If I would uh, execute, I gain 25. Let's do it. Cheers. Very good. 35 of dread. Good. We got piety, we got dread. Ah, this was already raided, also this. So then let's focus on this one. Nair, finally. Wow, he has hail, he is intelligent. Bjejanhara, so now let's find a better name. Even though the name that we're starting with uh, B, we're bringing some good luck. So maybe we could leave. Let's leave this name. Biehan. Biejan. I don't know how to pronounce it. But very good. He has three of diplomacy, three martial, three stewardship, three intrigue, three learning, and four of prowess. Very good. Unfortunately, this means that I will have to divorce from my wife, though. It will cost me 100 of piety, but we will manage somehow. And then we will remarry. But for the moment, let's move our raiders, uh, I would say, here. I suppose I want someone who is infertile, healthy, ideally Norse, ideally North Germanic, then some of skills. This is possessed and to hold, even though she has claims. 56, ah, 21. Nine of diplomacy, 11 of martial, seven of stewardship, nine, six of um, intrigue and 10 of learning. Not the best. Or actually let's go maybe with stewardship. This is very good in, uh, in stewardship, but the others are a little bit disappointing. Now let's focus on uh, some of skill. Okay, I will say that probably this 21 years old girl is okay. Send proposal. And we have the Onager. This is very good. Very, very good. 
we should actually make a little sway here on my wife there are the two new twins in the family Ooh, also planning innovation we are really discovering a lot of things now 58 years let's maybe Yeah, let's go with city planning. I like it. Here we raided. Let's go here. And after this, I'm going to take care of um, of the new men-at-arms also including the onagers capturing a lot of people let's continue no only two people actually and we have a new perk digging for dirt and then the next one is kidnapper very good So let's make compliments for my new wife who is this uh, beautiful 21 years old uh, redhead in perfect health conditions. She can be praised for her clear rationality, might to work, unshakable faith in Odin, hmm. people's skills. People's skills because she's gregarious. Let's see if she appreciates. Ah, she has appreciated. Very good wife. Very good. Very good. So let's take a look first of all at the people that want to be run some 15 hmm. 25 is already a better offer okay let's do the following this one can go for 25 these others demand conversion and recruit great loot delivered 128 of gold so let's disband for the moment it's fine but i would like really to reform our men at arms and i want to take a look at something here terrain so most of the areas that we want to conquer it are taiga and hills taiga and hills honestly they are kind of useless this light footman I think we could renounce to the light horseman or at least we could decrease to one this we could decrease to two Okay, and maybe okay. Oh no, smallpox. 
Let's hope it doesn't spread and let's hope it doesn't kill my son now that I have married an infertile woman. And maybe we can continue raiding. Let's raid again. Raise all us raiders and this time we continue but not in Ulsta. Okay, we can go straight here basically. Cannot select the units. Okay, they have only three, but maybe we'll capture someone. The opinion of my new queen is increasing. Very good. Ah, now our armies are very good. I like it. Okay, smallpox is a bad memory. And it's already over. So, confused heritage. Tu, 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 tu. Wow, Svavarsson Dynasty gained 75 of renown, this is nice. Let's do it, doesn't happen too frequently to have the chance to increase the renown. Wait, 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 what is this? How comes that my wife is pregnant? What are you talking about? You were sterile. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. And now of course it will be a boy because I know how the game is. They always have to try to sabotage me. They will pay 50 for her, so it's okay. 50 for this too, it's okay. And for this, they will not pay, but she's 10. She might be useful, demand conversion and recruit. Over she's Norse. Now let's get this additional gold and then we can go back home. Son is a troublemaker. Should we maybe also go here once we are here? Well, let's go. Doesn't hurt. We still have a little bit of supplies. And then we come back home. And of course, it's a son. I was sure about this. Which, of course, this screw the succession. No, 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 no. Not going to happen, my dear. Even though he has hail and is intelligent as well. Who is better? Actually, they are very similar. Also, the, the other one was starting with all three and then four of prowess. But unfortunately, I am afraid I will have to kill my own son. And as a sadistic ruler, I can do it. Kidnapper, very good.
110 of prestige and loot delivered. Dismantle armies, very good. Faction, what's going on here? Why it's starting again? Why this madness is starting again? In 19 months. Guys, relax, chill. Let's sway this dude. Okay, here now the faction is too weak to send the ultimatum, very good. Very good. We can farm our soldiers again, we can go up to 8100 soldiers. And then I think we will start to expand in this area. Let's go for the county. 75. And the siege should be very fast. Because now we have the siege equipment. So they have a fort with the 5 of fort level and still in a few months. Let's continue the plot. Let's not do it immediately. I don't want to waste gold. And also, I had very small chances of success there. And we defeat them again. Faction created against me again. Why do I have to spend all this money? And it's a victory. Buff. This band. prisoners so let's take a look this is actually a winter soldier with 12 of prowess 21 of martial demand conversion and recruit my friend and this one similar he has only five of prowess but i'm fine with that demand conversion and recruit ah, i will never accept because it's zealous that's a pity because it means that i have to kill you and you belong to another faith, so it's not going to be a problem for me to sacrifice you to our gods. And so that's it. Let's join my court and then we can check here. Ah, and we also have a guest with 25 of prowess. How much does it cost? 25. Why should I spend 25 for a 49 years old man? No. I need gold, I need to save for the feudal. And the kingdom of Iceland is growing. But I will have to give away one territory. This that I recently conquered. Actually, I have two counties already in this duchy. So we could already give away to two different people. Let's grant to a noble of Saminors. Let's see if we are lucky. Asatru, Saminors, Zilus, but in this case of our organized fate. So this is a good one. And this one we grant to another one. Satru, Saminors, vengeful, greedy, impatient. Very good. Very good. Unfortunately, this means that we get additional vassals. We go up to 12, but they are not all powerful vassals. So in the end, the powerful one are one, two, three, four, and five. Only three of them are, in the, are sitting in the council. Who is not a powerful vassal sitting at the council? This gentleman with minus 21. So what will be then the best option? this one my uncle so let's just wait a little bit to let uh, the soldiers go up again and also to make sure that this faction decrease in uh, military power and discontent and actually my uncle just died 
he didn't survive the excitement of being finally in the council. He has been waiting his whole life to be at the council. As soon as I nominated for the council, puff, he died. It was like his heart exploded for the joy, you know. And here we place instead the other powerful vassal. Yeah, it's here. Even though she has only 12, so we went from 19 to 12, but it's okay. Because now all powerful vassal are basically sitting in the council and they are very happy. Maybe I could even make another feast to just increase the relationship with my vassals. We have enough gold now to do it. And then I will close the episode for today. We have managed to raid some gold and to expand a little bit more our territories and again to avoid that faction, which is not bad. I prefer to lose a little bit of prestige and gain gold. Let me check one thing by the way, because here we have the possibility to see who is attending our feast. So there are my sisters. Okay, there is also him who hates me. A few other vassals, included the one who don't have a great opinion of me. But generally speaking, I think it's, uh, it's successful. The only one who declined is this vassal, who in any case has 100 of opinion, so it's still good. Very good. So... Yes, my guests depart. It's the 2nd of October 978 and we are ready to end also the episode for today. Let me know what's your opinion about the question I was raising at the beginning of the episode. Do you think I should turn to feudal with the current ruler or wait for the next succession and then move to feudal with the new ruler? What's your opinion? Let me know in the comments and guys, see you in the next video. Cheers.